Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. Uh, we roll into show number uh, 1055. I just said that. It might be. I don't know. 20 years. But long anyway, time. Long time. Ron Wong's wow. been with me a long time, too. And uh, appreciate Ron being uh, on this fourth Saturday of September. Uh, next Saturday will be first Saturday, but uh, we're going to roll out today's show, close it right here. This is not the final show of the year, just like we don't know how many more videos that Mark Manis and Mark Copley will do. I will be back next week, okay? I'm not <laughs> sure about when they're going to do their next video, and you're probably saying, is Larry Ray going overboard? Yes, I am, because uh, these are two of my favorite people. Uh, they have put together, I think, uh, one of the best, uh, really from the heart, video of the life of my friend mark rose as a professional fisherman through his family through his uh roots uh through uh all of his reports from all the tournaments and i uh, said let's get together with mark manis in the production side and mark rose in the other side and talk about this new endeavor good morning mark manis good morning mark rose good, good morning. morning larry there you go y'all almost could be a duet you know, it was almost uh, one was a tenor. I wasn't sure about the other one. So, uh, but anyway, let's let, let's talk, Mark Rose. Is this something you wanted to do and uh, talk about the development of these videos? Well, even though you introduced me first as Mark Copley, I'm gonna let you slide. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, he did. I did. Uh, yes, he you did. Got, you heard that, didn't you, Rod? Mom? Okay. Yes, I did. Okay, I got your back, buddy. <laughs> Folks, uh, okay. Larry, this was just. Let me hold on now. Listen, uh, this is uh, this is uh, you know this okay. is live radio here, <laughs> so I, I have made two mistakes on this show today, and Ron Wong has caught them all. He is now no longer bonus Wong. He's here every week to take care of me. Okay, our original plan was to get three marks, and I thought, well, that would really be cool. So anyway, now I introduce to you my friend and fisherman. <laughs> And former Boy Scout of America, former uh, pl- baseball player for Arkansas State, uh, uh, the, the, the grandson of one of my all-time favorite people, Walter Rose, and here is Mark Rose. I can't. Well, thank you, Larry. I appreciate it. Uh, no, I was just messing with you. This was uh, Rose Outdoors was just something that I've always wanted to do a television show. Yes, but. I'm so big into the competitive side of tournament fishing that I didn't want to get caught up into that side because I felt like it would affect my performance tournament wise. But man, now that YouTube and, and other social media, uh, now that YouTube is just so big that I just want, I thought, why not do a YouTube show? And I, I, I knew Mark Manus had come back to Arkansas and, uh, you know, was living there with his mom at, at the time, and uh, yes, yeah. Gosh, uh, just talking about her, my my heart goes out. Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. recently lost her, and uh, but anyway, uh, you know, I I could th- think of nobody better to help me out in doing this because I don't have all. The, I just had an idea, and uh-huh. I, I I knew that I wanted Mark Manus. There's just too much talent uh, that man has that I want. Since he was close by, I wanted to. Uh, get him involved and we just started brainstorming over lunch one day and the rose outdoors youtube channel was created and we've had lots of fun with it i wanted to bring out my faith and that and you know faith-based stuff is not real popular amongst the uh, you know in television but this was this youtube show it's my show so yes. <laughs> I, could, I want i told mark i wanted to do with it and mm-hmm. what i you know my vision and bringing out my faith and he was all in and we were both were all in and so we've had a lot of fun with this thing but you know part of that too mark and mark is the educational part of what you are doing and you know so many people are getting involved in the fishing industry and wanting to learn, and and what better way than to do it on YouTube to help people um, uh, yeah. learn how to fish and to grow the sport? That's right. We've done some instructional stuff in there. It's you know, faith, family, fishing is my motto. That's, That's right. right. We're yeah. doing some of some of all three, and yep. yeah, we're doing some extra, instructional fishing. 
um, it's neat being able to give back. This, this sport's been awful good to me, and uh, it's neat to be able to teach and share tips and tricks and things like that. And uh, Mark does an awful good job in, in bringing it to the, the fans. It's not like we're doing it just, uh, you know, on a video, on a telephone, man. This is uh, this first it's class. good quality. Yes, so, it is. Yeah, yeah. I, I, everybody's told me that's watched it. They love seeing the family and 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 me bringing out my faith and sharing tips. And they said it's re- put together really well. So I think we've done a good job of it. And we're doing, we don't, <laughs> <laughs> we're at eight now. We don't know how many, we, we're not on any set schedule. There you that's go. That's a great thing, man. Me yeah. and Mark go like, well, what do we want? To, if it's something important, he's right there he's for right me. There. But, yeah. And now, how are you going? Yeah. How are you going to let people know when you come out with new material and new and um, new segments? We just put it out there. We put just it post out it there. on YouTube. As soon as, as soon as we we shoot one and Mark gets it edited and the finished product, we put it up on YouTube and then we promote it, of course, through right. Facebook and. Uh, Instagram. Okay, and great. Mark, Mark Manis, uh, this has been, uh, I know you've done a lot in, in your production field and things along that line and won a lot of awards and everything, and Mark brought back, you're back in what, Forest City? I mean, uh, uh, you're, 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 you're. Close Mar- in Brinkley. In you're Brinkley. In Brinkley. In Brinkley yep. and, uh, and this has brought you, y'all back together. Talk about the show, the, the process of you and Mark working together. You know, Mark actually, he's being real humble. Mark had really specific ideas on on the show and, and how he wants to do it. And I love that uh, because he is, people don't understand, you know, Mark comes across as this humble country boy, but he is extremely intelligent. Yes. And he yes. has a sense of what he wants to present. Mm-hmm. And and he, he'll call me and say, "Hey, I've got an idea for a show," uh, and uh, and and we'll start and we'll start working it. It, it. It's really a cool process because the neat thing is everything's from his heart and everything's real. That's, right. that's the two yes. things he told me. He said he said I want to be able to show my faith and be transparent about that. And he said, "But but I want to be real. Yeah. I want this show to be about real life, about yes. the real me." Yeah. And and that's what we're trying to do is show people what the real Mark Rose. Hey, you 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 are like. right on Mark man. It's, uh I remember taking some pictures of him that he wanted and he actually told me exactly how to take them and they were awesome when they came out yeah. because that's him. You know, he wants he, he's a perfectionist at what he does. Yeah. And what he wants to well, present. Well, that all depends. If he takes his hat off and shake and, and scratches his head, <laughs> I, I know he's into it. Okay, I mean, that's right. I, I know that's that right. for a fact. Again, we're, again, we're talking to Mark Manis and Mark Rose on Outdoors with Larry Ray, and I, uh, I really enjoyed your family portrait, Mark. When you brought in Hannah Grace, you brought in Christy, you brought in all the stuff. You showed your other uh, older daughter and the wedding and things along that line. I think you want people to see what you're about. I mean, because uh, people only see, they look on and see, how many fish do you catch? How many fish do you catch? How much money did you win? All these different kind of things. Yeah. So I think you wanted to get your family really involved in this, didn't you, Mark? Rose? Yeah, I did. I did. And, I want, and like Mark said, I wanted it to be real. I didn't want it, you know, I've been fishing 100 years now, and we've no. done everything <laughs> as far as tips. The tips and tricks, and I've been on the biggest stage. Uh, yes, you have. I've had all the blessings yep. of uh, wins and everything in between. So there's been enough done about. I wanted the people to to get to know me because I'm, you know, soft spoken, conservative country boy that yep. I don't dance and I don't, you know, uh, <laughs> a lot of the. Don't I give all your secrets to, but, away. Don't give all your secrets well, away. Save them for the. Sh- so for the- many people along the way have told me, you know, we'd, you don't, you don't let us in. You know, you, <laughs> we'd, we'd like to know where you live, what you do, what you eat, and all these things. And <laughs> you know, we've all seen the Kardashians. How? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Mark Manis, are you? you can, I, I didn't think I would hear the Kardashians <laughs> on this segment. Okay, along. Well, I, people. People want to know what people are doing, and there, there's other soft-spoken conservative country folks out there, evidently, because they wanted to. So we're bringing them uh, real stuff. 
And then that's what that's it awesome. is. And this is on Mark Rose, uh, uh, Rose Outdoors YouTube. Uh, go to it, folks. They've done eight episodes. Uh, there will be a ninth. We're not sure what year it'll be or what month, but uh, it'll come in there when the, the, when they're ready to do it. But uh, I wanted to get you guys on on this week's show to to know, folks. Just go uh, go to Mark Rose's uh, Rose Outdoors YouTube. You can get the the, the, the previous eight. They're all great. Uh, I really enjoyed them and had watched all of them. And I know, Mark, uh, uh, this is from your heart. We hadn't even asked you about fishing because uh, I wanted to spotlight this show. And, uh, you know, next time I'll get Copley with you, and we'll make it even more confusing. But, um... <laughs> all right. Well, there's been enough done about fishing. This is just having fun about me right now, uh, or me and my family and my heart. And your faith. You know, what? What that's all about, and bringing out Mark Manus's talent. He, that's exactly there was right. Way too much there for. He's got a busy schedule. I've got a busy schedule, so we're trying not to get put this on the schedule. <laughs> we just do it when we have time. All right, buddies. We appreciate right. both of you guys. Thank you, uh, and we'll we'll talk later down the road. And uh, go for it, Mark. You know I don't believe in luck, so go for it, man. Faith is important. All right. That's, All the best everything. to you guys. Y'all have a great weekend. All right, thank okay. You. okay. All right. Mark we'll Manis. Be there, okay, man. All right. Mark Manis and Mark Groves. All right. <laughs> Let me tell you about next week's show before we get out of here. It'll be first Saturday, which means Dave Gabbard and Gene Smith will be our co host. Uh, we're going to talk to Lindsey White from over the uh, Little Red River with Jay Goodermuth, the guide, and talk a little bit about the Tennessee Scholastic Clay Target Program. We're going to hear from Ron Wong as he's uh, down in Shreveport at the uh, Crappie Classic. Expo. Expo and Ron will be uh, reporting in from down there. Then Ron will be back with us on that first, uh, first, uh, second Saturday in October. Golly, isn't that hard to believe? Say in October, Ron? Yeah. Is that not hard to believe? Golly. Again, our condolences go out to the Quan family with the loss of Mr. William uh, Buck Gardner and the loss of, Mar- of his Marlene, wonderful wife, Marlene yeah. W. Fitch, and the and the great support. And of course, I lost my good friend Bobby Irvin too. So, uh, yeah. Think positive, folks, this weekend. And remember, it doesn't cost an extra cent to a good sport. Be a good sport. What else, Ron? God God bless bless the USA. USA.